Let's have a look at how the Protaper Next system perform in research studies. There are many studies and I will just highlight a few of them. The first aspect I want to look at is the resistance to cyclic fatigue. In this study by Alnagi in 2014, he looked at cyclic fatigue resistance of Protaper Next nitrile rotary instruments. He concluded that Protaper Next had a greater resistance to cyclic fatigue compared to Protaper Universal and the Hyflex instruments, but not to the twisted file system. Also in 2014, Perez Guerra et al. tested the differences in cyclic fatigue resistance between Protaper Next and Protaper Universal at the 5 and 8 mm levels from the tip of the instrument. They concluded that the Protaper Next files will last significantly longer than Protaper Universal files, with a probability of about 98% at all tested levels, except for the Protaper Universal S1, which was significantly the most resistant instrument to cyclic fatigue at 5 mm from the tip. The next aspect to look at is debris extrusion. Here's a study by Koshak et al. in 2014, where they looked at apical debris extrusion of the Protaper Universal and Protaper Next systems. In this study, the Protaper Next files was associated with significantly less debris extrusion when compared to Protaper Universal. Here is a study where the authors Kapar et al. 2014 looked at an in vitro comparison of apically extruded debris uh, of Protaper Universal Protaper Next, Twisted File Adaptive and High Flex instruments. The Protaper Next and Twisted File Adaptive instrumentation systems were associated with less debris extrusion compared to Protaper Universal and the High Flex systems. I think that you will agree that canal shaping ability is quite, a, quite an important aspect to look at. The first study I want to highlight here was done by Bertlein, Matei and Schaefer in 2014. They looked at the shaping ability of Protaper Next and BT Race NITA instruments in severely curved root canals. They firstly concluded that all instruments maintained root canal curvature and that the Protaper Next files achieved the fastest preparation time between the two systems. The second study on the shaping ability was done by Zhao, Shen, Peng and Harper Solo in 2014. They looked at root canal preparation of mandibular molars with three night eye systems, Protaper Universal, Protaper Next and Wave 1 using microcomputed tomography. They firstly concluded that all three systems shaped root canals in mandibular first molars without significant shaping errors. And secondly, that the curved canals prepared with the Protaper Next instruments demonstrated less apical transportation than the canals prepared with Wave 1 or Protaper Universal. Another interesting study and more recent was done by Pascolini et al. in 2015. This was also a micro CT study where they evaluated the shaping ability of Protaper Next and the BioRace system in maxillary first molar, molar uh, teeth with curved canals. They made three important conclusions from this study. Firstly, that neither systems produce significant shaping errors in curved canals. Secondly, canal centering ability was significantly superior with the ProDlider ProTaper Next combination compared to the Scout Race Bio Race combination. ProDlider and ProTaper Next demonstrated more conservative enlargement of the root canal areas. This is represented by the top group, group A on this slide. And on average, the ProDlider and ProTaper Next reduced the inner dentine wall thickness to a lesser extent 
than the scout race bio race group and that is represented by the bottom three images group B. However, this was not st statistically significant, but you can clearly see the differences on, uh, on this slide. And thirdly, they concluded from this study that the offset cross-section did not influence the final taper. The ProTaper Next X2 instrument ended up in producing a 7% taper in the coronal aspect of the canals. This demonstrated that despite the fact that the instruments demonstrate the swaggering movement, it still maintains a 7% taper in the coronal aspect with the ProTaper Next X2 instrument, not destroying any excessive tooth structure and weakening uh, the, the root canal prepared tooth. The last research aspect I want to touch on is crack formation in dentine. In this study done by Kapar et al. in 2014, they compared the effects of ProTaper Universal, ProTaper Next and HyFlex on crack formation in dentine. They concluded that all files created cracks and that the ProTaper Next files and HyFlex caused fewer dentinal cracks compared to ProTaper Universal. In another study done by the DSL 2015, they did a micro CT study on the effect of ProTaper Next and Twisted File Adaptive Systems on dentinal cracks. They again concluded that the ProTaper Next and Twisted File Adaptive Systems did not induce any formation of any new dentinal micro cracks in, the, in their study. I think that all of you will agree that all this research correlates with our clinical findings and clearly illustrating the excellent clinical benefits when ProTaper Next instruments are used for canal preparation.